Now, a number of strategies have been developed to decrease the incidence of ventilator-associated pneumonia. Today, we're discussing the use of semi-recumbent positioning. Dr. Wilms, why is that important? Well, beginning back in the 1990s, studies were done that showed that the migration of gastric secretions into the oropharynx and down into the lungs of ventilated patients was augmented by being in the supine position and could be largely uh, eliminated by placing the patient at 30 degrees head up. Subsequent to that, several studies have shown a reduction in the incidence of ventilator-associated pneumonia in patients who were maintained in the 30 degrees or greater head of bed elevated position during their mechanical ventilation. For example, in a randomized controlled trial done by Draculovic and others, uh, there was a decrease in the incidence of ventilator-associated pneumonia from 23% in those patients who were maintained supine to 5% in oh. those who were uh, nursed in the head of bed elevated position. Now, elevation of the head of the bed in mechanically ventilated patients to 30 to 45 degrees is part of a bundle of preventive measures being advocated by such organizations as the Institute for Healthcare Improvement, the Surviving Sepsis Campaign, the American Thoracic Society, and the Infectious Diseases Society of America, among others.